Today we will have lecture 2-2 on state equation solutions and transfer functions. The objectives of today's lecture are to derive the solution to the state equation, convert between state space and transfer function representation. In the prior lecture, we discussed finding the state space representation for a system. The solution to the state equation can be found by finding the Laplace transform of the equation. So x dot equals ax plus bu. The Laplace transform is s x of s minus x of 0 equals a x of s plus b u of s. When you collect like terms, this becomes the quantity s i minus a times x of s equals x of 0 plus b u of s, where i is the n by n identity matrix and x of 0 are the initial conditions of the state variables. So now when you solve that equation for x of s, you get x of s is equal to s minus si minus a inverse x of 0 plus si minus a inverse b u of s. This is the general relationship for the solution to the state equations. The expression si minus a inverse is called the resolving of a. The inverse Laplace transform of si minus a inverse is the state transition or fundamental matrix. V of t equals e to the at, which is the inverse Laplace transform of si minus a inverse x of t is equal to e to the a t x of 0 plus the integral from 0 to t, e to the a t minus tau, b of u of tau d tau. Note that this is the sum of the natural response due to the initial conditions or energy stored in electric circuit elements and the force response due to an implied input such as u of t. Note that since y of t equals c x of t, y of s equals c x of s. Also recall from linear algebra that the inverse of a two by two matrix can be found from the following formula. If the matrix is a, b, c, d, then the determinant is a, d minus b, c. So it's one over the determinant or one over a, d minus b, c times the matrix d negative b negative c, a, where you swap the first and fourth elements and you negate the second and third elements. In class activity one, for the following electric circuit, assume that the input is zero, R is equal to 25 ohms, L is equal to 10 millihenry, C is equal to 100 microfarads, and the initial voltage across the capacitor is one volt, and the initial current through the inductor is one amp. Solve for the natural response of X of T and the output Y of T by using the resolvent of A or the state transition matrix E to the AT. Okay, let's get started. X1, is equal to the voltage across the capacitor. X2 is equal to the current through the inductor. So X1 of zero is equal to one volt. X2 of zero is equal to one amp. And the input is U of T is equal to zero. So when you solve for the state equation, you get X dot, which equals X1 dot x2 dot is equal to the two, two, two by two matrix, zero, negative one over C, one over L, negative R over L, times the state vector x1, x2, which equals when we substitute in the values, zero, negative 10K, 100, negative 2,500 times x1, x2. So first, si minus a is equal to s, 0, 0, s, minus 0, negative 10k, 100, negative 2,500. So si minus a equals S, 10K, negative 100, and S plus 2,500. The next step, we're going to find the inverse. SI minus A inverse is equal to 1 over S, times S plus 2,500 minus 
10K times negative 100 times the matrix S plus 2,500, negative 10K, 100 S, which simplifies to one over S squared plus 2,500 S plus one meg times S plus 2,500 minus 10K, 100 S. So recall that X of S was equal to SI minus A inverse X of zero, and the other half is a zero because U of T is a zero. So this equals one over S squared plus 2,500S plus one meg times S plus 2,500 minus 10K 100 S times the vector 1, 1. So X of S is equal to 1 over S squared plus 2,500 S plus 1 meg times S plus 2,500 minus 10K, which is S minus 7,500. And the second row is 100 plus S, so we're gonna write that as S plus 100. So this can also be written as S minus 7,500 over delta of S, which is the characteristic equation S squared plus 2,500 S plus one meg, and S plus 100 over delta of S. Remember this is delta of S. So finally, when we find the inverse Laplace transform, we get X of T is equal to negative 16 thirds e to the negative 500 T plus 19 thirds e to the negative 2000 T. And the second row is negative 4 fifteenths e to the negative 500 T plus 19 fifteenths e to the negative 2000 T U of T. Y of T is equal to C X of T, which equals 0, 25 X of T. 0, 25 X of T is equal to 0, 25 times negative 16 thirds e to the negative 500 T plus 19 thirds e to the negative 2,000 t, negative 4 fifteenths, e to the negative 500 t, plus 19 fifteenths, e to the negative 2,000 t, which equals negative 20 over 3, e to the negative 500 t, plus 95 over 3, e to the negative 2,000 t, U of T, and this is the natural response. In class activity two, for the electric circuit in the previous activity, assume that the input is a unit step function and the initial conditions are zero. Solve for the force response of X of T and the output Y of T by using the resolvent of A or the state transitioning matrix E to the AT. Note that these two activities demonstrate that the linear property of superposition can be used to find the complete solution of X of T and Y of T for non-zero input and initial conditions. Finally, what is the complete solution for X of T and Y of T? First, since the input is a step function, 
u of t, the Laplace transform u of s is equal to 1 over s, and x of t is equal to the integral from 0 to t, e to the a, t minus tau, b, u of tau, d tau. So x of s is equal to s minus a inverse b u of s. And this was found before. So x of s is equal to one over the determinant or the characteristic equation times s plus 2500 negative 10k 100 s times b, which is 10k0, times u of s, which is 1 over s, which equals, which equals 10ks plus 25 meg over s times s plus 2000 times s plus 500 for the first element. And the second element is one meg over s times s plus 2000 times s plus 500. So next we find the inverse Laplace transform of x of s, which is x of t. And we get that x of t is equal to 25 plus 5 thirds e to the negative 2000 t minus 80 thirds e to the negative 500 t. And the second element is 1 plus 1 third e to the negative 2000 t minus 4 thirds e to the negative 500 t u of t. The output is y of t equals cx of t, or 0, 25, x of t. So y of t is equal to 25 plus 25 thirds e to the negative 2,000 t minus 100 thirds e to the negative 500 t u of t. And this is the fourth solution. So the complete solution, y of t, would be the sum of the natural solution plus the sum of the fourth solution, which equals negative 20 thirds e to the negative 500 t plus 95 thirds e to the negative 2000 t plus 25 plus 25 thirds e to the negative 2000 t minus 100 thirds e to the negative 500 t u of t.